today is day two of pre-planning but four for me of classroom setup so i just got in my classroom from cross-country practice and i'm gonna try and finish all of my decorations around the room um clean all my surfaces and then get i think started on making some first day copies so i forgot to record right when i got in but i went ahead so I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday to get more uh, better than paper because I decided that on my wall over here, I wanted to try and cover up as much of it as I could. So I had some leftover burlap better than paper from the back. So I kind of did a test trip and I kind of like how it looks. So I had to go buy some more. Um, so I'm going to do that. I've already cut my strips, uh, measured and did that. But this is what I'm super excited about. So I went to Hobby Lobby and their wall decor was 50 percent off and so i've been wanting to get those like galvanized typed wall letters that are like super super big uh to spell out math um in a certain part of my room so i found them they're 50 percent off so i kind of splurged and bought them so they're huge they're these big letters like for example oh, oh you kind of hear it this is the M, it's huge. So I'm gonna take these and also put them on my bookshelf. So I have this like hanging bookshelf. So I'm gonna try and spell them out. I think they honestly might be too big. So I might have to put them like in the back of my room or I may put them up there. Not quite sure I'm gonna play around, but the goal is to put them above here. So I have to take all this. It got so dusty over the summer. So I'm gonna clean that, clean all my desks and then get started with the work for first day of school. So. That is my plan that I'll take you guys along with. So finishing up decor and then cleaning and then finally getting into first day lesson planning. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned. Lots more to come. So here we are. I'm super excited about this. So I have um, some large letters that are coming in. So I can't fill this out just yet, but this will be a little display where I'm going to start off by having like welcome to algebra one. And then I'll kind of display like dates, like a test on like, you know, whatever day this, that way it's kind of bigger for students to see. So next I then cleaned out my shelf here. Um, it got like super dusty and I had bought these metal letters at the top. I saw math. I'm probably going to move this right here. It's kind of covering up and I think I just want that to be displayed. So I'm going to move that to somewhere else in my room. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to work on reorganizing the shelf and like decorating that and I should be done. 
Okay, I also wanted to show this real quick. I forgot I had this up there, but so I had two students a couple years ago. They made this poster for a class project in Lit. And so at the end, when they were done with their poster, they folded it up and made me a captain's hat, as they said. So they called it Math Slayer, Miss Aiken, and then put all these like different equations on it and like all this stuff. Super cute. Yep, there's like some dragons and whatnot. So I've kept this for probably like five years now. I just put it on like the top of my shelf. So I got to find a new spot for this, but just wanted to put that on display for you guys to see. I'm super happy with this. It's a little bit cleaner. It was getting a little bit cluttered, so I'm just happy with the way this looks. I still have to find spots for some of my other stuff like the Coach Aiken, and I definitely want to keep this, so I'm going to have to find places to put that. But yeah, we are almost done. This is looking so good, so I'm super happy. Okay, so I am just like super all over the place today. It's been a little bit crazy. So I'm trying to get like settled. I don't know, like two days in, I'm already just like starting so many projects. And then I just like can't focus on when I think of another one. And then I have all these like half finished projects I feel like around my room. So I met earlier today with my algebra group and we kind of worked on like outlining our curriculum a little bit for the first test. And then we worked on our Canvas pages because there's a couple new things that they're making every teacher in the entire school have. So we were trying to kind of adapt that stuff. And then we went out to lunch as a department. So I just came back um, not too long ago from that. And so I'm trying to kind of get centered. I did this, I thought this was cool. Pretty simple though, but I have all these like little, I only have two right now, as you can see, but I have all these like little hooks hung for when I get headphones. So kids can listen to stuff on the computers. I put that on my wish list and a couple people bought them. They're just still coming in. But so I think what I'm going to do now is actually go through and edit some of my first day stuff. So I'll show you guys that really quickly. So on the first day, I do a couple different like activities that I've made with them. So the first one is a get to know your teacher. So that's this right here. So I'm just going through and editing some stuff about myself. So the kids read it and then they write down three things that they've learned about me and then um, summarize in two sentences. So, like what they learned about me. So with, instead of just sitting there and talking about myself and be like, hi, I'm mistaken and like rambling off, I just let the kids read about me and then kind of like read and, you know, pull out the things that they think are kind of like identifying with and things like that. Then I do a scavenger hunt for the syllabus. So again, instead of talking about the syllabus, I basically have them, my syllabus is usually just front and back. It's not super long. I don't like it to be really long and like be bound by all these details throughout the year. So the syllabus is just front and back. So I have six main points that the kids will have to answer. So like the first one is what are the different grade categories this year and what are the percentages for each category? So the kids will just kind of write down like formative is this, it's worth 40%, it's knowledge checks and quizzes, just things like that. And then the next one we had to change. So my syllabus changes year to year. So I have to go in and edit but how will we be collecting classwork assignments? What grade category will that be a part of? So that's something that's different because of the flipped classroom this year. We'll be doing a random five selection on test day and their classwork will actually be like completion grades that go towards their test. So a test may be worth 105 points, 25 of those points from, come from completion assignments that they have to have like completed for that day, the test day, and then uh, the rest will come from the actual like assessment. What is the cell phone policy? How many dividers and what are their labels? What section of Canvas is most important for you to use and why? And then when does your syllabus need to be signed and return? What type of grade is it? So it gives the kids a chance to like scan through their um, syllabus and it keeps me from again rambling and kids zoning out and pulls out the main details. And then this is another last thing that I made. I don't need to make any changes on this, but this is a kid's interest inventory. So it asks them questions about them in the top part. So like, 
how many siblings do you have? How many pets? What are their names? What job do you match in the future? What's a life goal, favorite color or favorite food, hobbies? And then what was your favorite memory from the summer? And then I also have about school section. So this is kind of what I pay most attention to right away. So what are you most excited for in high school? What subject are you most interested in taking? Uh, what is one thing you enjoy about math uh, from your previous classes? What makes you the most nervous about math? I really like that one. And then the last one is what is something that I could do to help you succeed in math? So this is super important to me. I have a whole binder of them throughout the year. So like whenever I start having issues with a student or I try and read through them the first week, but you know, you just never remember. So if I notice a kid like falling off or something like that within the first couple weeks, I pull out their interest inventory one to like learn a little bit more about them and kind of get an idea of like how they feel in math, stuff like that and things that I can connect with them over. Um, so I can put that to you. So I'm going to work on these now, edit them, and I'm just going to go ahead and run those copies because I know that's something I'm going to do the first day. And then, yeah, that should be it for uh, first day stuff. Okay, here we are. So I printed off my uh, first day of school stuff. The only thing I'm missing is the syllabus, but we're gonna have to do that a little bit later in the week. And then this is also something I wanted to show you guys. So this is what I use for uh, my calculators instead of giving numbers and things like that um, to keep track. So it's a calculator card. I just have to print or cut them out and laminate them. So the kids fill out their name and their class period. And so if you have like a little hanging thing, you can use it there as well. But I have these little like, holders and so the kids will just like slide their card in to get a calculator and that way if a kid is gone or like walks out with their calculator i know exactly who it is because i have their calculator card with their name on it so that's what i use to kind of keep track of my calculators um it's kind of tedious i have to cut them and laminate them but then it lasts the whole year they can't use anything else to turn it in so if they lose this card they don't get a calculator anymore so i just tell them to put the put it in the front of their binders so they can always keep track of it but yeah so that is it first day of school stuff and i will put these I, this is actually an edible temp, editable template that i use um and i have it as a teachers pay teachers um file that you can download. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this and the link below. So if you are interested, you can look at that. Um, the scavenger hunt, the template for get to know your teacher and then interest inventory. And again, that's editable. So you guys can kind of change that to whatever you want. Okay, so I ended up leaving a little bit early because I had to swing by um, the doctor's office and then I ended up getting more stuff purchased off my Amazon wish list. And I always have that delivered to my parents' house, just any packages, just they don't live super far away and I just don't like stuff getting delivered to my apartment complex. So um, I'm gonna go pick up that because there was a good bit of stuff. So I got more things purchased, which was super exciting for my classroom. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that, figure out what I got in and take you guys along for that too. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, Pippi. Okay, so here's everything. I'm so happy. So I got a lot of stuff in this shipment. I think it was from a couple people. So I would gotten a, another pencil sharpener and then a huge thing of glue sticks. So I use them all the time for like projects with my kids. So I got that. Let's see, another calculator was ordered, another set of headphones that I needed for my wall. And then this is something I'm, su oops, sorry. This is something I am super, super excited about. So these are like these stackable cubes. Okay, so sorry, it's a little messy right now. But these stackable cubes, you can kind of see it here. So these kind of can connect together, but they're also like, individual compartment so inside oh sorry i'm gonna put you guys down first okay so you can kind of see that inside there you can stack these on top of each other and then you can also like take these apart uh, this is how you would stack. It would just connect onto the one above it where you can just leave it as a single and they have these like individual compartments. So it's three containers. There's this one really big long one here and two smaller ones here. Second. Okay, so I took it off just to show you guys. So this larger one, these are kind of snapping compartments. So they stay pretty sturdy. Like you can move these around and it won't, you know, fall apart or like the lids won't come off. So they snap in. So there's 
those and then they have a medium one in each one of these and a small one for each one of these so i have three of these on my wish list they're i think 18 dollars a piece so they can kind of be expensive um if you want to get a bunch just st to stack kind of like how this is but yeah so i'm super excited about this to organize some things with Okay, so last thing, I actually didn't look at these before I made the last video opening, but so sweet, all of this came from my boyfriend. He had ordered off the list without me knowing, so he left a little note that says, big old smooches for my favorite teacher in the whole freaking world. So super cute, yay, that was so nice. He never told me he even ordered off of that. So anyway, yeah, thanks again for watching. Mm -hmm.